Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. And if you're new here, my name is Habiba. Thanks for joining me on this motivational cooking and gardening video. So we're going to start off in the deck. I wanted to clean it off before I cut some flowers and water them. And I was also doing a lot of thinking um, because lately I've just been really frustrated. I don't know about you, but I've been really frustrated with my weight, with my health, knowing that I could be doing a lot better when it comes to my diet choices. If you're new here, I am a medical doctor. I'm a physician by training, but I'm also currently serving as a content creator. <laughs> and I happen to be a major foodie and I love, love, love dessert. All of these things have not necessarily served me well. And lately, I've had a lot of random symptoms that I know are related to diet. Occasional headaches, heavy periods, hypersensitivity, just random aches and pains. And I'm just tired of it all, really tired of it all. And I know that I do have the tools um, and the resources to make better choices and so that's what I've decided so after doing a lot of research about inflammation and foods that cause inflammation I've decided to for once in my life actually try a vegetarian diet now in the past I have you know had vegetarian meals I've cooked vegetarian meals but I've never really been disciplined enough to actually stick with a diet for you know days at a time to actually go a week two weeks on a vegetarian diet and when I say diet I don't necessarily mean restricting myself type of diet I mean a lifestyle and so this is going to be one of many videos to come hopefully where I try to maintain a very healthy vegetarian diet now I'm not going to be one of those strict vegetarians who cannot eat you know um, eggs or milk I will try to stay away from dairy as much as possible but I do think that occasionally you might see me um, consuming some dairy so I am not vegan I don't have plans to be vegan um, and I respect people who have the discipline to be vegan um, and don't consume any animal products but for me at this time you know one step at a time I think a vegetarian diet is something I am willing to try um, so we'll see but for now I'm enjoying the garden and I am getting some cut flowers I like to start off adding what I call fillers to my vase these are shrubs from the hedge outside the front of the house and I'm adding that um, to my hydrangeas. Hydrangeas? <laughs> so I hope you guys will follow along and I hope you guys will be rooting for me um, as I embark on this new journey. I promise you I'm going to try. I promise you the meals that you're going to see will be tasty, will be colorful because one thing about me is if the food isn't tasty, I just can't do it and so thankfully I do know how to cook really well thankfully I love spices and so I know this is going to be fun this is gonna be a fun journey and I hope some of you will stick around and maybe even challenge me and maybe even you know make this a group effort so for now like I said I'm not planning to be a vegetarian for the rest of my life at least I don't know that yet maybe I will but for now one week at a time is all I'm willing to do or able to do um, one week at a time <laughs> Don't you just love how flowers can lift the spirit up? Doesn't matter what kind of mood I'm in, it always gets better when I have fresh flowers. Okay, so let us make a salad. We're gonna make a giant salad. Truth is, as you know, I was raised on eating meat. I was raised on eating chicken. I was raised on eating beef, goat, you know all kinds of animals and as much as I love those things and still do 
um, sometimes you got to let go what doesn't serve you, right? And so, as you know, also, I have had to go on a gluten-free diet because I was having some abdominal concerns. And as soon as I stopped eating wheat products or anything with gluten, my abdominal discomfort basically disappeared. And I've tested it on several occasions where I go back to eating gluten and the pain comes back. So sometimes you have to let go what doesn't serve you. And so for now, I think it's just something I have to do when it comes to letting go of as much meat or flesh as possible and trying to live a heavy plant-based diet. We've heard it over and over. We all know the more plants, fruits and vegetables you eat, the lower your risk of heart disease, of high cholesterol, of cancer. And yes, there are exceptions. People will have those diseases. But the more plants, fruits, vegetables that you eat, the better your health, right? So we got to do better when we know better. Of course, don't forget to drink your water. <laughs> okay, let's make a big salad with our garden harvest. I also have some onions, some cucumbers, some tomatoes, some carrots or a carrot, half a bell pepper, and some cabbage. I also have some organic spinach and green mix from the grocery store. So I'm just chopping the romaine lettuce that I picked from the garden. And what I love about a salad is that you can totally personalize it and add all the things that you enjoy. Romaine lettuce is super healthy and I just love the crunch. But some people like butter lettuce, some people like iceberg lettuce more. What's your favorite? Okay, next is the spring onions. And these also came from the garden. They're high in fiber, low in calories, a good source of antioxidants, lots of vitamins. We have our cabbage. Some people don't really like cabbage raw, but I think if you finely shred it, it's actually not bad. You can also juice cabbage. And of course you can steam cabbage or stir fry cabbage, which you will see later. Cabbage is really, really healthy, really good for you, and it's so inexpensive. It's just one of those things that you should try to eat at least a few times, you know, a month if you can. Of course, some people have some dietary reasons, like if they're on certain blood thinners, their doctor may tell them not to eat cabbage along with certain leafy greens. So make sure you check with your doctor if you are on a blood thinner. I also have the orange bell pepper. And I love these because you can eat them raw. You literally can eat them raw. They're so tasty. They actually taste like fruit to me. But red bell peppers are the most nutritious. They have the highest levels of vitamin C. We have some cucumbers, and this is how I like to peel my cucumber. I leave some of the skin on it, and that way when you slice it, it comes out really pretty. I always want dessert, so dessert can be um, the strawberries. Cucumbers are so versatile. You can use them in salads, of course. You can use them in sandwiches. You can use them instead of, you know, carbs. You can add dips to them or use them to scoop dips. Um, you can use them as a face mask. You can use them in your cold water for a refreshing beverage with some orange or limeade. Of course, for a pop of color, it's always nice to add tomatoes. Although Maria, my daughter, is not a big fan of raw tomatoes. <laughs> I guess she'll pick them out and put them to the side. But the rest of us love tomatoes. I love how a basic potato peeler can be so versatile. And I like using it to scrape off the first layer of the carrot, which is the part that we don't eat. Obviously, carrots grow in the ground, and so they often have debris or a little bit of dirt on them. So that first layer can be 
thrown in the garbage or used in composting if you do that. I cut off the tips and then I start again with the potato peeler and it gives me these long strands um, and they're so pretty and they give the salad a lot of texture. I can also use some of it in my stir fry. Okay, so I said I was be going vegetarian, right? Now that doesn't mean the rest of my family is on board. <laughs> we all get there at different stages. So I am also cooking some beef stew for them. My son and daughter have made it very clear they have no interest in becoming vegetarian at this point. So I am flexible and I will still cook meat for them when possible. <laughs> what do you think? So as you can see, I added most of the shredded carrots to the salad, and now I'm going to add some bean sprouts. If you've never tried bean sprouts before, you are missing out. They are very nutritious, high in fiber, very versatile. You can eat them raw or you can cook them. They're very easy to work with, and they just make the salad next level. <laughs> they give you that healthy, crunchy texture. If you like texture, you'll like bean sprouts. Okay, we made our salad. Let's make some dressing. So we're going to make our salad dressing ourselves because why not? <laughs> Kareem was helping me. So we are using fish sauce, which you saw, some apple cider vinegar, some chili garlic sauce, some soy sauce, gluten-free, some sugar, some olive oil, and a little water and also the juice of half a lemon. Okay, now it's time to use the stove. We're gonna make some stir fry, tofu, and vegetables seasoned with curry. Yes, curry flavored <laughs> tofu. So I have some soft tofu because Mariam had already opened a pack of this tofu and I wanted to use it all, but ideally soft tofu is better for smoothies or puddings. And you're better off using very firm, extra firm tofu when you're planning to either stir fry or deep fry, especially if you want it crispy. Today, I'm not gonna make it crispy, but I still prefer firm tofu. It comes in water, which you should drain off before using it. If you're not gonna use some of it, then put it back in the fridge with some water. So I cut it into cubes before putting it in a pan. So I'm going to season a little bit of oil with some onions. So not all of my onions, just a little bit of onions, just to season the oil. And ideally I would have garlic as well, but I didn't have any garlic that day. So seasoning the oil just gives the tofu a little bit more flavor. As you know, tofu doesn't really have any flavor. It's a very clean taste. And so if you add as much spice as you would like, it will taste exactly like the spice. So I wanted it almost to taste like, almost like curry chicken. <laughs> so I'm going to add some curry powder to it and turmeric and you saw I added some red pepper and all of the seasoning just made it taste so delicious. I'm telling y'all, it was so good. Now I'm adding my onions, my carrots and my cabbage and it just going to go together so well so this is such a quick and easy meal and I've made this before um, sometimes in the past but you know this time I was really conscious about the flavor especially knowing that this is something that I want to eat frequently instead of eating meat now I'm adding the bean sprouts and all of this would shrink or will shrink just like you saw the cabbage shrinks once it hits the heat. So it's going to fit into this pot really well. And voila, just like that within literally less than five minutes, my food is done. And everybody thought it tasted delicious. I'm adding a little bit of scallions for, you know, a little extra pizzazz. Adds a little bit of color and adds more flavor.
you know we had to have dessert so why not some fresh strawberries with some homemade whipped cream now you can get vegan or vegetarian whipped cream with almond milk sold in the store Along with the tofu and vegetable stir fry, I also had some leftover lentils that I added to the table. Let's not forget our salad dressing. A little mint from the garden is a nice touch as garnish. And that's all, dinner is served. I hope you enjoyed this cooking video diary and I hope you thumbs up and that helps share the video with someone else. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that this is valuable content or content worth watching. I hope you let me know if you'd like to see other videos such as this. I will be doing a lot of vegetarian cooking, healthy cooking, and I'm sure it will be interesting and worth sharing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this inspires you to cook something healthy and delicious. Bye! <laughs> Go ahead and watch something else. See you Sunday!